Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Thank you. Nice. nice. Thank you for joining us in here and out there. Everybody watching, no doubt you've just torn yourself away from Mark Zuckerberg's testimony, which I assume is entering hour 14 as we speak. There were how many senators? 44 senators. Almost half the Senate was there to question him today. But you got to expect, it's like bringing a baby to an old folks' home. They just cluster around. <laughs> they cluster around him like, 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 like senators around a billionaire. <laughs> and, and, and here, get ready. Here's our full coverage. Uh, nerds are awkward. <laughs> old people don't know how the internet works. <laughs> we'll have more on this tomorrow if they make me. <laughs> But right now, before anything else, I want to give a shout out to any FBI agents watching this from Michael Cohen's hotel room. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> if, if you're there, remember, just order the porn because <laughs> the porn is on the president. And, uh, 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 and the porn stars are too. Um, <laughs> Of course, I'm talking about yesterday's big raid on Trump attorney and man realizing he left his soul on the bus, Michael Cohen. <laughs> now, a lot of people are expecting me to celebrate just because this is devastating to Donald Trump, but we're not going to be dropping a bunch of Michael Cohen confetti tonight <laughs> because the FBI got all of his papers before he could shred them. <laughs> but, and however, I'm not allowing myself I'm to feel about this, okay? I'm going to be professional, but it is a huge deal. This exact moment, as I speak, FBI agents are so far up in Trump's business <laughs> that they're reading his emails with a proctoscope. <laughs> Investigators snapped up Cohen's computer, personal financial records, even his phone. Now he's going to have to threaten porn stars by telegram. <laughs> Agents also took all material related to a 2016 payment Cohen made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. In this case, the FBI actually does stand for female body inspector. <laughs> now, when Trump found out about this, uh, he was pretty upset. So I just heard that uh, they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys. Good man. It's frankly a real disgrace. It's a an attack on our country in a true sense. It's an attack on what we all stand for. Yes, it's an attack on what this country stands for. In the immortal words of Patrick Henry, give me liberty or give me death, and by liberty I mean Liberty Bell, that buxom stripper working at Yield Scores. <laughs> and some Liberty Bell fans. Oh, yeah. Some Liberty Bell fans. Liberty Bell fans out there. And what does he mean, broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys? They didn't break it. They used a search warrant. <laughs> did you see what they did to my attorney? They broke into his office, stole a bunch of damning evidence. I think they might kidnap him to jail. <laughs> and I... I'm just thinking... I'm thinking... This is what the... I just... I, just, I don't know. And Trump had strong words for the FBI, or at least one strong word. It's a disgraceful situation. It's a disgrace. It's frankly a real disgrace. And I think it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. A disgrace. It's a disgrace. It's a disgraceful. Ooh, someone's been using their word a year calendar. <laughs> yeah. Last year it was Kofefe. <laughs> and this morning, Trump tweeted a total witch hunt. <laughs> Here's the thing the Cohen raid was planned, approved, and reapproved by multiple actual Trump appointees, including Rod Rosenstein, the Republican prosecutor handpicked by Trump to serve as Deputy Attorney General. According to a former U.S. attorney, Rob Mueller likely bumped into evidence of criminal conduct that was beyond his scope, so he referred it to the Rod. <laughs> <laughs> the Rod? Does everyone in this scandal get a porn name? <laughs> Is that... Is that... If so, if so, for the record, I want to be Randy Thrust. <laughs> and... That was a pretty good name. <laughs> Trump also <laughs> tweeted, Attorney client privilege is dead. <laughs> well, it is for you. 
because it turns out paying $130,000 to shut up a porn star right before the election is a violation of campaign finance law, and knowingly lying to a bank about why you need the $130,000 is bank fraud, and attorney-client privilege doesn't apply if they're investigating a crime jointly undertaken by the attorney and the client. Yes, officer. <laughs> Look. Wow, Look. Okay. Officer, officer, may I remind you, yes, we were robbing this bank, but may I remind you, the guy holding the pistol is my lawyer, okay? <laughs> I assume that clear things up. We'll be on our way, because he is charging me by the hour to do that. <laughs> now, naturally, Trump is freaking out. A source says, I've never seen him like this before. This is the president you're going to see more of from here on out, unvarnished, untethered. <laughs> So up till now, he's been tethered? <laughs> I mean, varnished, I believe. He's obviously slathered in a thick coat of Valspar. <laughs> now, this brings up one inevitable but disturbing question. Why don't you just fire Mueller? Why don't I just fire yeah, just Mueller? Fire the guy. Well, I think it's a disgrace what's going on. We'll see what happens. But I think it's really a sad situation when you look at what happened. And many people have said, you should fire him. Yes, so many people are saying that I should fire Mueller. You, me, myself, I, so many people. <laughs> One more interesting tidbit about the raid on Cohen is how thorough the FBI were. They got what is known as a no-knock warrant, which they do when they're so worried you'll destroy evidence that they don't even knock. They just walk right in. It's the same warrant they issue to your in-laws when you're trying to have sex on vacation. <laughs> and they wanted to make sure that they found anything Cohen might have touched, so they raided Cohen's Manhattan office, home, and hotel room. And now, with Cohen compromised, Trump needs a lawyer who isn't vulnerable to this kind of search. Well, there's one law firm really hoping to land the president as a client. Jim? Are you a president of the United States who's in deep legal trouble? And you're worried that your lawyer's office or hotel room might get raided by the feds? Then call us. Galino and Fonz. The feds can't raid our offices because we have no, no fixed address. My ex-wife doesn't even know where I live. And she's married to me now. We operate out of unregistered windowless vans. And we use stolen identity. I got my social security number from a World War I veteran. And I died in a fire in 1958. Ouch. That's not even a real office behind us. It's a green screen. We, we could, could be anywhere. At, at the, the beach. beach. On a mountaintop. <laughs> in a gorilla cage. Or, or inside the human body. body. You have a right to habeas pancreas. No evidence will be stolen. Inside your colon. You don't have to call us, Mr. President. We'll meet you in person. We know where you live. Galino and Barnes, itinerant attorneys. You can't raid one. You can find. We got a great show for you tonight. James Spader is here. But when we return, the Fox News takes on this historic raid. Stick around.